Hi, I'm Leon Grizzard in Austin, Texas, and we're going to talk about playing Patsy Cline's Crazy. I know uh, Willie Nelson wrote it, but Patsy Cline owns it as far as I'm concerned. So let's take a look. We're going to do it in the key of C here, which is not my best singing key, but you'll get the idea. If you've got someone who can sing as well as Patsy Cline, you certainly don't need all the fancy or semi-fancy things I'm going to show you here. A real simple accompaniment would be the ideal thing, and that's what Patsy had on her uh, definitive recording of the tune. Anyway, here we are in the key of C. I'm going to call out the basic chord changes as I go through them, and then we'll go back through and I'll show you uh, what the different moving chords and so forth that I'm, I'm playing are. Crazy, crazy. A7 for B and so D minor. G7. Crazy for B and so C, C sharp diminished. D minor 7. G7 repeats C, C. Put that B flat in there if you want to. Look at this. Now, I usually play my C chord instead of that regular uh, eighth fret bar C chord. I generally refinger it so that I'm not playing the uh, D string and also I'm not playing that high E string. I just think it's a cleaner sound, and either one, of course, is fine. So crazy. You can put that B flat in there or not. I think of that as being a steel guitar. Uh, cliche, if you're going to use it, then maybe don't play it the first time through. Maybe save it for one of the later verses. If you want to add some uh, pseudo drama to it, you can even go chromatically down the whole thing. Crazy. Anyway, just a regular old A7 there. On the D minor here, that's just a D minor chord with a Another cliche, the descending bass line of uh, D, C sharp, C, B. If you uh, wanted to, you could play it up here on the 10th fret with your standard D minor chord on the top four string. If you wanted to arpeggiate it, you wanted it on a lower set of strings, it sounds pretty good down here on your standard D minor chord at the fifth fret and go D. Is that C sharp? And switch the fingers around to get the uh, C and the B chord, B note. What I do, however, is I'm using this Freddie Green style grip. That's a four fret uh, grip, but it's not too hard to do. And what I'm playing there is I've got the D note on the tenth fret of the low E string, skip the A string, got the a note on the 7th fret of the D string, and the F note on the 10th fret of the G string. So it goes 10, skip, 7, 10, skip, skip. And you just walk it down, C sharp, C. Three here with the B on the bottom. Now that's a pretty good stretch, and if you wanted to, uh, you can change, and instead of playing this F note on the 10th fret of the G string, you can refinger and get that same note down here on the 6th fret of the uh, B string. Which is what I have to do if 
if I'm trying to use that same grip on like the uh, off an A minor chord. Then you got a G seventh chord. What I'm playing there on that walk up is a G seventh chord. I prefer to use a lot of times this uh, three finger grip. It's contained within that chord. It's just on the uh, from the low E string, three, skip the A string, three on the D string, and four on the D string. Notes G, F, and B. The second chord is uh, the same notes as an F chord, or maybe you might want to call it an A minor six chord, but what that is, just a passing chord. And you've got the fifth fret, low E string, skip the A string, the F note on the third fret of the D string, and the C note on the 5th fret of the G string. The next chord is A sharp, excuse me, A sharp diminished chord, uh, which is played from the 6th fret. You got the 6th uh, fret E string, skip the A string. You got 5, 6, 5, and skip the high E string. So we'll call it out again. 6, skip, 5, 6, skip. We'll use that same grip in a couple of other places here. The next chord up is going to be that very same shape as that F chord or A minor 6 chord up here. It's going to be absolutely a uh, G chord with the B on the bottom. So that's going to be from the low E. You've got the 7, skip the A string. The G note is the 5th fret on the D string. And the D note is the 7th fret on the G string. I'm going to finger it in such a way that I leave my middle finger free to get that F note, the seventh of the chord, the sixth fret of the B string. Then in order to add just to add a little more movement to it, I'm going to play this G seventh chord up here. That's the same fingering as your C seventh cowboy chord you all know, except instead of having the uh, C note, the root on the bottom, we're going to have the fifth on the bottom to slide it up here. So. C, C sharp diminished, that very same grip as we use there, D minor 7, G7, if you want to, you can lean back down to the C note uh, by getting that D flat, I know, open sound and it keeps the same uh, bass note as a C chord, keeps the C in the bass. And how that is spelled, that's got the uh, C note, the 8th fret of the low E string, skip the A string, you've got the A note, the 7th fret of the D string, and then you've got the F note up here, the 10th fret of the G string. So again, from the bottom, that's going to be 8, skip, 7, 10, skip, skip. Walk up like we use from G, and that gets us to the bridge beginning on F. <laughs> 